definitely a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, if you're not careful, the pressure can get to you. But I mean, quite frankly, I rather have the pressure every day in my like home turf than to, I guess, show up at a meet and kind of be like blown up. Um, yeah, and honestly, just it keeps me accountable every single day that I practice. Like I have to be on my, excuse my French, but S-H-I-T. Yes, yes. Yeah, it definitely takes getting that confidence going and being comfortable, being uncomfortable, I guess, a lot. We usually only do this once a week also, which is kind of nice because you want to get through the hard day and then you get to do like the speed and stuff on the other days. But yeah, probably just being comfortable with being uncomfortable is, is something that I've tried to work on. So today I had um, 150 plus 60 times two, hard 150. I had to make sure that I did most of the work in the first half. Um, kind of just whip around the corner, use the momentum, as well as um, just kind of finish strong at the very, very end of it. 60 seconds later, I had to um, basically run a 60 um, with no fatigue, um, no sense of fatigue, make sure there's quick ground contact as well as just pretty much finishing the job. A 300, and then kind of depending on how fast that one was, a 200 or a 120. So I ended up doing a 300 at around 95%, and then a walk back to the end of the 100 straight away, and then a 120, kind of same thing, focusing on form and finishing strong. We've had to get okay with being really flexible, and I think we have a really good group. Like I'm training with some of like the best 60 meter runners in the country. So that's been really helpful and kind of all motivating each other. And I think what's special is that in practice, we try and um, make it seem like it's kind of a race environment. So when we're doing block starts, we're kind of pretending like it's a race setting. And then on the days where we're coming to do special endurance, it's really setting it up as that like we want these to be quality runs, kind of mimicking what indoors would feel like. And then, so hopefully when we get to racing, we'll kind of already have that feeling in us. Be very, very competitive. That's one, that's probably our number one goal, but at the same time, we want to have fun doing it. So like our group dynamic is competitive, but very, very friendly. Like we're friends um, on the track, um, during practice off the track but again once we're i guess competing against each other um 
it's, you know, it's game on. <laughs> <laughs> this year in general, even from coming out of last summer, um, I've been able to work on like my top end speed because um, that's something I've always kind of pushed to the side being in a longer sprint event kind of I've always biased towards the speed endurance and I think um, this season's given a good opportunity to kind of work on my speed so that when it is time to work on the speed endurance that comes a little bit easier. Practice is where you um, are very much again still at the elite level but you're working things out you're figuring thing out, things out you're um, tweaking the fine details as Jason said as he's very very much detailed right but when it comes to um, the race you're supposed to let all that go and at that moment it's technically all supposed to be muscle memory so quite frankly there's not really much to racing because all the work is supposed to be done in practice and you're just supposed to kind of just let go and kind of let your higher self take over once you race. I struggled with the 400 and the longer events in my first year university. And I think something that helped that was taking the pressure off of it. And in that summer season, I kind of focused on the 200. Um, and just taking the pressure off the longer event made it better because it wasn't this anxiety of like, it's a 400, oh my goodness. Um, so really just making it fun and also a, a thing I like to think about going into Wednesday workouts is like what's the worst that's gonna happen like I'm gonna feel terrible and be lying on the track but that's the worst so you might as well just give it your best and then in those moments when you're running a 4x4 four four and there's everyone crowded on the track like that's when it will be worth it so I think trying to keep it as fun and light as possible and not get too worked up about about the distance because it'll be hard, but in the end, it'll be fun and worth it, so. I'm Siobhan Rotsborough. I'm Zoe Sherrar. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Mission, Mission 6, 6 Media. Media.